have here a penny in my hand. This one right here happens to be a 1980 penny. So it's composed of 95% copper and 5% zinc. I uh, wanted to talk a little bit today about pennies in general and their compositions. And they've changed quite a bit over the years since we started using them back in the 1700s. Um, I have four different pennies sitting here today. I have a 1913, which is a wheat penny. That one's made out of 95% copper, 5% tin and zinc, so a sort of bronze material. Um, I have a 1943, which is a steel penny coated in zinc. These were made during the war because they needed all of the copper for the war effort. World War II was going full on in 1943, so that's why we have this strange historical oddity. Um, and then I've got a 1973. It's just more of an ordinary penny. Um, this one's made out of 95% copper and 5% zinc. They changed the composition in 1962 to not contain any tin anymore. Um, and then I have a 2013. Um, and this is what all of our pennies are made out of now. Instead of being made of copper, they're made out of zinc with a thin coating of copper. In fact, I think it's 97.5% zinc and 2.5% copper in the pennies that we have circulating nowadays. Um, makes you kind of think about the mint and what they make our coins out of. It used to be back, you know, going all the way back to Rome, that a coin was valuable, not because you thought it was valuable, but because the material it was made out of was actually valuable. So if you wanted to purchase something from somebody, say a, a, some goats, you would hand them coins that were made out of silver or made out of gold or made out of copper and the person receiving the coins knew that they were getting something valuable and that was going to hold its value no matter what. In fact, the United States in uh, 1792 had a coinage act that they made and George Washington actually signed on to that thing, but it said that we couldn't make any coins that weren't made out of copper, silver, or gold. So right here I have a 1964 half dollar. This is made out of 90% uh, silver and 10% copper, I believe. Really a beautiful coin. Worth something, always. In fact, I think it's worth a couple dollars now instead of just 50 cents. Here's a quarter from 1941. Again, made out of 90% silver and 10% copper. And then I've got a, an old mercury dime made in 1937. Again, silver. But it's interesting because the coins nowadays are not made out of silver, gold, or copper. In fact, the coins that are supposed to be silver or gold are made out of copper, and the coins that are supposed to be copper are made out of zinc, which is clearly not a valuable metal. I mean, we use it for sacrificial anodes in our water heaters and the bottoms of boats, so not a very valuable metal. But it's what our pennies are made out of, and that's actually intentional. Um, the government doesn't want our money to be worth more than its face value, okay? So if this penny was worth three cents for the copper that's in it, but it's only worth one cent at its face value, then people are going to hoard the pennies and melt them down into just the straight metals and sell the metals. So for example, I have a jar here that contains all of the pennies that I find that are made pre-1982 1982 and older because I think it's interesting, I just kind of collect them, but that's a perfect example of hoarding right there. So we're all guilty of it. I'm sure everybody has a jar of pennies somewhere in their house, in the closet or the basement. So just kind of interesting, because nowadays money is worth something because everybody else thinks it's worth something. So when you take a piece of paper that has Uncle Benjamin's face printed on it, and bring it to the hardware store, you can exchange it for metal, you can exchange it for a vehicle, you can buy anything really with the right amount of money. But it's only valuable because we think it's valuable. So just kind of a really interesting thing to think about there, how money has changed from being something that was for sure valuable to just an idea, a belief that it is valuable. So <laughs> kind of cool. And there's proof of that right there in the pennies that are made out of zinc. So this penny is actually lighter than this 1973 penny because um, the copper is denser. So I think the 20, oh, 2013 penny weighs two and a half grams. 
and this one weighs three grams over over three grams what was it 3.1 grams 2.5 grams so another kind of interesting thing there but I wanted to show you how these things sound okay so getting to the actual point of the video sorry about the long conversation about just money in general but we'll start with the 20 20 19 13 penny I'm gonna give it a flip in front of this microphone here so that you can hopefully hear the beautiful ring it produces okay all right, you heard that? Here we go again. You can perhaps hear the vroom of it spinning too. Well, okay, so I, I, I assume you heard that. That was the 20, or pfft, 1913 penny, which is made of 95% copper and 5% tin and zinc. Moving on to the 1943, which is the year they made them out of steel and zinc. Completely different sound. <laughs> okay, and next, move to the 1973 penny. So this one's made out of 95% copper and 5% zinc, no tin. Oh, beautiful ring to it. Oops. So you hear that? Now here's the sad and slightly embarrassing sound of a 2013 penny that hit the microphone we didn't hear that very well oh, here it is you hear that <laughs> yeah doesn't sound nearly as nice as the older penny so one way that you can tell um, the composition of a penny is actually just by listening to it. So I can take another just random two pennies right here, okay? That's actually not a penny. That's like a pence or something from a different country. Let me try that again. Okay, random penny. This is, happens to be a 1980, and this one happens to be a 2013 again. But you'll hear the difference. So I'm going to shuffle them, and I'm going to flip them, and you should be able to know which one's which. That one versus, you guessed it, the first one was the 1980, which is made of mostly copper, and the second one was the one that's made of mostly zinc. So, anyway, hope that you found this interesting. Um, certainly hope that the audio picked up well enough for you to hear the distinction, but try it yourself. Go find a couple pennies in that jar of coins that you have in your basement, and just flip a couple of them and see if you can hear the very clear distinction between one that's mostly copper and one that's mostly zinc. Anyway, hope that you enjoyed and uh, keep thinking about economics and keep thinking about how everything's based on trust now instead of for sure actually getting something valuable. I just think it's really interesting and uh, hope that you enjoyed the video. Uh, thanks for watching and we'll talk to you later.